Who do you think wins, uh, a saltwater crocodile or a shark? Okay, I do not like saltwater crocodiles. They scare me to no end. Muller, Michael Muller, who dove all over the world, he sent me a picture of him diving uh, with salties, saltwater crocs in Cuba. It was a smaller one, but goodness gracious, have you seen the size of some of those saltwater crocs? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm thinking, the, I'm thinking the, the sharks are so agile. They're amazing. They've head cammed one or body cammed one um, moving through the kelp bed. Um, and you look and it's just, they're so agile moving through the water and, and it's looking up at the surface, like the camera's looking at the surface and you just realize if you're out there, um, you're not, and you're swimming and you get hit by a, by a shark, you're, you're not. I was going to talk shit and say that a salty has way more bite force, but according to the internet, recently data indicates that the shark has a stronger bite. So I, I was, I was assuming that a crocodile would have a a stronger bite force and therefore agility doesn't matter but mm. apparently a shark yeah and, and turning one of those big salties is is probably not that you know turning around it's like a battleship i mean those sharks are unbelievable they hit from all sorts oh and they they do this thing we saw this you, you're out of the cage or in the cage and you and you'll look at one and, it, and you'll see its eye kind of like looking at you they can't really fovea but they'll look at you and you're tracking it and then you'll look down and you'll realize that one's coming at you. They're just, they're, they're ambush predators. They're working together. They're, it's fascinating. I like, I like how you know that they can't foveate. <laughs> right. You're already considering the vision system yeah, there. Yeah. And it's a very primitive eyes on the system. Very primitive eyes on the side of the head. Their vision is decent enough. They're mostly obviously sensing things with their, um, electro sensing in the water, but also, um, olfaction. Um, yeah, I spend far too much time thinking about and learning about the, the visual systems of different animals. If you get me going on this, like we'll be here all night. See, this is what I have the smuggler on too. I saw this in a store and I got it. Cause this is from a shark. Goodness. Yeah. I can't say I ever saw one with teeth this big, but it's beautiful. Imagine that. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's probably, you know, you, probably your blood pressure just goes and you, you don't feel, feel a thing. Yeah. Um, it's not gonna... Before we went down for the cage exit, um, a guy in our crew, Pat Doss, who's a um, very experienced diver, um, asked one of the South African divers that, um, so what, you know, like, what's the contingency plan if, like, somebody catches a bite and they were like, he was like, every man for himself. And they're like, basically saying, like, if somebody catches a bite, like, that's it. Yeah. You know, um, anyway, I thought we were going to bring up something happy. Oh, that is happy. <laughs> well, we nature lived. is we beautiful. Lived. Yeah. Well, nature is beautiful. Uh, we lived. Um, but you know that there are there are happy things. You brought up nature as metal. 